Hey students, welcome to your science class. Hope you are doing well in this pandemic situation. So I am Manojit Deh and I am your science teacher. This is the second part of our ongoing chapter, Light. So without wasting more time, let's get started. So in this part we will be discussing the characteristics of the image formed by the plane mirror. Mirror are basically three types. First one is plane mirror, the second one is convex mirror and the third one is concave mirror. The concave and the convex mirror we will discuss about them later. Today we will be discussing the characteristics of the image of formed by the plane mirror so this is an example of a plane mirror okay now we will going to study what is the characteristics which is the image which is formed by this plane mirror so, okay let's start so in my left hand you can see this is a plane mirror okay and in my right hand this is a marker pen this is a plane mirror and this is a marker pen now if I bring this marker pen in front of a plane mirror you could find the image is formed in front behind the mirror right if we bring the pen in front the mirror the image of the pen is formed behind the mirror okay right now why is it so so let's understand the theory of it now this is a plane mirror and this is the marker pen light falls on the marker pen and emits from the marker pen and again the light falls on the plane mirror and reflects back to our eyes and that is how we can see the pen at, I mean the image of the pen behind the mirror because the lights are coming from the pen are diverging now if we match those diverging uh, means the diverging rays behind the mirror so it will match again at the behind of the mirror and at that point the image of the pen formed okay now the first characteristics we have of a plane mirror that the image of the plane mirror the image of the object formed by the plane mirror formed at the behind of the mirror so this is the first characteristics that image are formed images are formed at the behind of the mirror okay now the most interesting thing is if you see the if you if you see the image which is formed at the behind of the mirror but if you look at the back of the mirror you couldn't see anything right although it is behind the mirror but actually if you see when you see the back of the mirror you cannot see anything that means let's it, this is suppose this is a screen right now if we bring this uh, uh, what is this mark pen right now mark pen so obviously if it is a source of an object in that case the the image will definitely form on the screen right now this is the mirror now when we see the object it appears to be behind the mirror but when we actually see the behind the mirror there is nothing that means this is an illusion right now this illusion is formed by the plane mirror and that image is called virtual image I hope you all know what is virtual image and what is re real image right now what is real image the image which is formed on the screen is called real image but in this case nothing is formed in the screen so that means this is a virtual image now although you if, if you have seen the uh, means the picture in that picture you you might be seen that 
the image which is formed the light cannot pass through the image right the light is appears to be passing means coming from this side but light exactly not passing through the image that is also the characteristics of a virtual image so plane mirror not only produce the uh, image which is formed at the behind the image which is formed by the plane mirror is also a virtual image okay so our second characteristics is the image which is formed by the plane mirror is virtual now this is the mirror and this is the object now if you see the size of the pane if you see the size of the pane if you measure the actual object size and actual uh, image size at the ob means at the mirror which is formed at the mirror is exactly same exactly same that is why the top means the this part is same as this image part this image this part okay so the size is exactly image that is why when you see your face when you see your face the eyes the nose the shapes of your eyes nose and lips are exactly matching right that is why the shapes of the image which is formed by the plane mirror is exactly same so our third characteristics is the size of the image of a plane mirror is same as the object okay now students our third characteristics we have no now if we see the pen again so as you can see the top portion of the pen the top portion of the pen is upside right and if you see the image the top portion is also at the upside and the down portion is in the bottom and for the image also the down portion is also at the bottom what is it mean it mean it means that the not only the size is same but the side of the upside and the downside is also same for plane mirror that is called the image is erect or the, the image is upright that is why when we see our face the eyes the nose are at the same position okay that is the one characteristics of a plane mirror so this is the fourth characteristics that the image which is formed by the plane mirror is erect or upright right now let's see our fifth characteristics of plane mirror now this is the position of a mirror consider that this is a position of a mirror this is an object okay this is a graph paper and each distance is one centimeter so the object and the, the distance between the object and the mirror is 5 centimeter 1 2 3 4 5 so the distance between them is 5 centimeter now if we place a uh, plane mirror if we place a plane mirror here okay at this position now you could find that here is also the object is formed here right the object is formed here and it is also at the same distance if we count so one two three four and five so the object is also at five centimeter behind from the mirror so the distance between the image and the distance between the object and the mirror is same so this is the fifth characteristics of the image formed by the plane mirror that the image is formed at the same distance from the mirror as the uh, object is from the mirror now we know up to fifth ca five characteristics of the image of a plane mirror now the sixth one and that is very important and that is the main character characteristics of plane mirror now as you know when we see our face is it is at the same position 
from the upside to the downside right but if we uh, see our hand this is my right hand okay and my thumb if we see my thumb uh, it is starting from the right side it is starting from the right side so one two three four five so right side the thumb is now when you see the thumb uh, at the mirror just like this so it appears to be at the left hand side so that is the interesting point here my, if I see my hand so that is the right side the thumb is at right side but when we see at the mirror the thumb appears to be at the left side so that's it that is important uh, characteristics of a plane mirror the right side of an object appears to be at the left hand side of the image so that is called lateral inversion that means it laterally inversed the Im the image on the plane mirror is not vertically inverted it is laterally inverted that is why some alphabets uh, in the English letters are laterally inverted when we see in the uh, plane mirror just like I have a play card here and uh, as you can see I have written red uh, so uh, so I have written here red means R E D right you can easily read this one now when you bring this red uh, in the mirror you could find that all the al alphabets are laterally inverted right all the alphabets are la uh, laterally inverted and it is illegible to read right you cannot read this easily so that is the one characteristics and most uh, means funny characteristics of a plane mirror that is why that is the basic reason means uh, the main reason that the hospital vans okay the name of the hospital vans like ambulance is written on the uh, surface on the front side of the uh, hospital van is laterally inverted practically because when the means the ambulance uh, is in emergency so that the drivers which drive a car in means uh, in front of the ambulance they can easily see and understand uh, when we when he uh, means see at the rear view mirror so he can easily find that a emergency ambulance is coming from the backside so he easily uh, get that so that is why the ambulance is really written laterally vertical means laterally inverted right now you could find this is uh, how the ambulance is written on the uh, on the surface of the van right now when you uh, see this uh, writing on the rear view mirror you could find that the ambulance appears to be exactly you could read it right you can easily read this uh, ambulance so when you see uh, on the rear view mirror it is laterally inverted and you could easily understood so in English there are 26 alphabets and in between 26 alphabets some uh, 11 alphabets are there those alphabets are appeared in the image if we uh, see these these alphabets in the plane mirror the image is exactly same that means if we uh, the lateral inverted image of these alphabets the special 11 alphabets are exactly same as it is means the object and the image is same exactly same so this is the special alphabets uh, in between 26 alphabets the 11 alphabets are a h i m o t u v w x y so these are the 26 alphabets uh, when we see these alphabets in the plane mirror it would appear as same it is this is the some important characteristics of a uh, plane mirror right so we have now six characteristics of plane mirror the first one is the image is formed at the behind of the mirror the second one is the image is vertical and the third one is the size of the image is same as the object right and the fourth one is the image is erect right that means the same side is at the up and the same side is at the bottom 
and the fifth characteristic is the image is formed at the same distance behind from the um, mirror as the object is in front of the mirror so it is at the same distance right the sixth and important characteristics is the image is laterally inverted okay now we have no this characteristics of uh, means uh, the image of a plane mirror now we will be doing some important numerical problems from NCRT books so let's see so here you can see the problem the problem is said that David David is observing his image in the plane mirror and the distance between the mirror and his image is 4 meter if he moves 1 meter towards the mirror then the distance between the David and his image will be 3 meter 5 meter 6 meter 8 meter that means which one is correct so initially it has said that that suppose this is David so this is David so this is the mirror so this is the uh, image uh, that means a diagram of a mirror this this the plane surface is the shiny surface shiny surface and the back this is the back side of a mirror okay so this is the shiny surface and this is the back side of the mirror so when he see so in initially the image is formed initially the image is formed 4 meter away from the mirror now from the fifth characteristic from number five characteristics uh, fifth number characteristics we know that the image distance and the object distance is same so we can say that the David is also standing four meter away from the mirror four meter away from the mi mirror right so the total distance initially is four plus four that is eight meter but after some time David moves one meter so David now he moves one meter so now his distance now his distance is three meter from the mirror so that his image also his image also from the mirror that is 3 meter right so now after moving 1 meter the distance between David and the image is 3 plus 3 that is 6 meter so the correct option of this question is 6 meter let's see another question so the next question from the NCRT book is the rear view mirror of a car is a plane mirror a driver uh, a driver is reversing his car at a speed of 2 meter per second the driver sees in his rear view mirror the image of a truck parked behind his car the speed at which the image of the truck appears to be to approach the driver will be 1 meter per second 2 meter per second uh, 4 meter per second or 8 meter per second that means which one is the correct option you have to tell this now in this uh, question now in this question the important and the fun thing is the mirror suppose this is the rear view mirror so this is the rear view mirror and this is the truck suppose so this is the truck okay so this is the rear view mirror and the car is moving towards the truck that means the mirror is moving towards the truck 
and the speed is 2 meter per second. That means the image of the truck formed behind the mirror, right? So in that side, behind the mirror. So as the mirror is moving towards this direction, the distance between the truck and the mirror decreasing and also at the same time the distance between the image and the mirror is also decreasing that means if the mirror moving 2 meter per second the both moving 2 meter per second at the same time towards them right the image and the object is moving toward uh, 2 meter per second at the same time because the mirror itself moving so the distance decreasing and also this distance is also decreasing at the same time now both the distance are decreasing so that is why the distance um, that means the uh, image approaches between the uh, uh, driver of this car is 4 meter per second because both the image both the object is appears to be 2 meter per second and the image is also appear means comes uh, towards the uh, driver is 2 meter per second so both combines and it be it would be 4 meter per second so the actual image appears to the driver is 4 meter per second so actual correct uh, means the correct answer of this question is 4 meter per second so I hope you understood uh, the question and uh, I hope you have understood all the characteristics of the plane mirror. Uh, so thanks for watching this video and if you have any doubts or any uh, query so you can ask in the comment section. So thank you for watching this video and stay home, stay safe.